The European pulp and paper industry has a challenge, keeping the production of paper and other cellulose derivatives eco-friendly. For decades, the sector has been adapting, developing new recycling practices and efficiency standards. Still, it is possible to do even more. This is why Project Paper Chain was born. 20 partners from five European countries working together to find new uses for the non-hazardous waste streams. The Portuguese research intends to prove the technical feasibility of using P&P waste in construction projects. Pulp production generates many different elements that could be used as byproducts, such as lime ash, dregs and grits. Currently, these materials are seen as waste and end up in landfills. The Portuguese partners seek to innovate, finding them a good purpose instead. The lime ash as filler in precast concrete, and the dregs and grits as fine aggregates and fillers in the surface layer of roads. The project has launched two pilots, an industrial pavilion using the new prefabricated concrete, and a road section where the asphalt pavement includes a mixture of dregs and grits, partially replacing natural aggregates. Both demos are being monitored to test the performance of the new materials. The Spanish circular case seeks to use waste paper ash in road construction works. Roads are more than just the asphalt you can see. Beneath the pavement, there are different layers designed to heighten its endurance. The composition of these layers depends on the requirements of each road. Often the natural soil has poor mechanical properties and must be replaced or treated with lime. When higher strength resistance and durability are needed, a mix of cement and special soil is used to create additional layers. So road construction projects lead to large amounts of lime and cement being consumed and natural soil landfilled. Meanwhile, the process to generate energy from paper rejects leaves behind paper ash. The Spanish innovation uses this ash to replace both the cement and the lime used in road construction. The project has already launched three pilots, corresponding with the three different stabilized soil layers identified in the Spanish roads legislation. The three sites have been thoroughly monitored and tested, making explicit the benefits of the process, benefits to the environment, but also practical. This innovation is currently starting the process to be approved by the Spanish authorities. The Slovenian team has developed a new material using the waste streams of the paper life cycle. When paper is recycled, a fibrous sludge is left behind. Part of this sludge is then used in energy production, turning into ash. A percentage of this ash is already being used in construction and mining projects. However, Paper Chain is aiming for the zero waste goal. So our Slovenian partners research treatments to transform these rejects into raw materials instead. Muddypel is their latest innovation, a composite of ash and sludge useful in railway renovation projects. Muddypel acts as the backfill element in landslide stabilization, forming a layer between the retaining wall and the slope. This not only means a higher percentage of paper waste recycled, it also lessens the amount of natural resources consumed. This project pilot takes place in a section of the Slovenian railway. After the installation, the composite is monitored to test its endurance to weather, groundwater and pressure. Muddy Pearl has already been approved for several uses in Slovenian projects and it is currently being assessed by the European technical authorities to access the European markets. This case demonstrates the integration of two staple Swedish industries. K2 
chemical and forestry in a circular economy model. Due to environmental concerns and the falling demand on certain segments, the forest-based industries need to adapt and partly develop a new business portfolio. New products and raw materials must be investigated to ensure maximal efficiency in the use of the available resources. Alternative usage of secondary raw material from the pulp and paper industry needs development to find new business opportunities. The Swedish proposal finds an answer in the circular economy. Fiber sludge waste composition makes it possible to obtain a high quality ethanol. Ethanol is a demanded raw material for the chemical industry, involved in the manufacturing of a multitude of products. This new value chain developed for fiber rejects is demonstrated in fully operative pilot plants and full-scale trials. The objective is to demonstrate the viability of the process from fiber rejects to a functional chemical. The demonstration includes both chemical and biotechnology processes to solve the overall complex circular value chain. The Swedish research and demonstration case intends to realize synergies between the pulp and paper industry and mine reclamation projects. After a mine ends operation, the area must be restored. This involves sealing off the waste rock from the environment. The sealing layer must have certain properties to assure its long-term safety. So when local materials are lacking, additives are used to improve performance. These materials are expensive and often require long-distance transport. Meanwhile, in the pulp and paper industry, the pulping process generates large amounts of green liquor dregs, or GLD, yearly. Disposing of this waste stream is expensive and time-consuming. The Swedish partners seek to solve both challenges in one sweep, using GLD as the additive to improve performance in the sealing layer. Given the high quality demands in the mining industry, extensive testing has been done to measure the performance of GLD in this application. The final step was the construction of a large-scale demonstrator in Sweden, where long-term monitoring will take place. This will allow the high-level assessment that the new solution requires and enable the partners to improve it. The benefits are many, since the solution improves environmental performance while also reducing costs in a process of circular integration. A new step towards the zero waste goal, because circular economy is the key to a sustainable future.